welcome again friends so this is the third part uh, let's continue uh, as you can see uh, this is the layout screen which we have developed uh, in this screen you can see this notification bar and this navigation bar uh, you might have seen other players you while watching the video you we don't see these notification bars and uh, navigation bars they are usually hidden so what is the procedure behind it we'll look into it today and also while our video was playing a preloader wasn't there means if if it was stuck in between because of the low bandwidth there should be a preloader which should prompt the user that the video is loading wait for some time and also you might have observed that after we press the back button the video doesn't stop it the sound continues uh, in the background so while pressing back button we have to write some code to stop the video so today we'll be covering all these things so so let's switch back to code so these three things we'll be covering hiding the bars both notification and navigation bar showing the preloader whenever it is required and stop the video when user presses the back button first we'll be looking the code for hiding the bars for hiding bars both notification bar and navigation bar we need to get a view of the window so by get window by by this function get window dot get decor view we get the view now we have to set a uh, we need to set some flags to make those uh, bars invisible so we have two types of flag this is uh, this type of flag is called as immersive flag while reading books all the epub related apps use this immersive layout and the video uh, players also use this immersive layout there is also one uh, type of other view that is called as le lean back so in that view uh, when someone clicks on the when someone clicks on the screen the these bars appear and after some time if uh, there's no activity on the screen these bars disappear so that is called as lean layout uh, lean view uh, but for now we will be using the immersive so for immersive we have to set some flags these are those flags and we set them into this variable and then the decor view which we got decor view dot set system visibility and we'll set the ui immersive option uh, we'll give the ui immersive option as the parameter for this function this will this just this code will solve your problem of hiding those two bars let's move ahead so as you can see this uh, loading panel actually the progress bar this progress bar comes in the between of uh, comes in the center of the video player let me make it visible right now so in the design view you can see this progress bar but in the design while designing we have to keep it 
invisible and the code will make it visible or invisible depending upon our requirement so this is the loading panel I'll initiate it over here now the player tells me when the user uh, when the video is has started loading is in the buffering mode or is in the play mode so depending on the event given by the uh, player we'll have to hide the loader or show the loader so for that we have to make a runnable variable which is actually runnable update player and inside it we'll write the switch statement so the player variable which we have defined over here player equals exo player new instance by giving renderer as to this player dot get playback state gives me the current playback state of the player so in the switch statement I'll write this thing player dot get playback state and it will give me the current playback state so if, if the case is buffering I'll show the loader if this case is finished I'll finish the player and end it and uh, end the activity and if the ca uh, case is idle I'll make the loader vis uh, gone uh, invisible and if the case is preparing means the uh, still HLS is not prepared if uh, or I if the mp4 is not yet loaded so I'll till that time I will we'll be showing the loader as visible and if the state is ready the video is ready is buffered and now is ready to play then we'll hide the loader so these are the statements and with the main handler which we have created the main handler will update this run uh, run statement in every 200 milliseconds so right now in the execute function if the HLS is loaded we are showing the uh, we are uh, showing the preloader and we are initiating the update player runnable for uh, 200 milliseconds updating it for 200 milliseconds so if the uh, with this statement it will continuously check in every 200 milliseconds that if the player is ready or if it's buffering depending on the need it will hide or show the preloader let's move ahead now if the user clicks on the back button the sound plays in the background so the our, so our player is not yet terminated after the activity has been closed so for that we need to write a code we need to actually overwrite on pressed listener we need to override this function on press so to override we need to press ctrl o this uh, pop up comes out so we'll search for on back pressed so this is on back pressed we'll just click on ok we'll select this and click on ok so this comes out and the function is written and now inside this function we need to clear uh, kill our player so that it doesn't play in background so we have written the code for that this is the function kill player inside it we are checking if player is not equal to null if it's null means the player is not yet made if it's not null it, it means it is playing or it is in the idle state or whatever if it is in the buffer state so if there is a player we need to really release it the release function actually kills the player or stops the player or if it's playing so this will do the code uh, this will do the work for us we need to actually call this function 
when someone presses the back button that's it this will solve a problem when user clicks on back button and the sound is playing in the background it will not play after this thing is after this code is has been written and now after this we'll check on the device so let's go to device let's launch the application so I have a less bandwidth connection and see you can see the preloader before the video please now the video is playing you can see before video played we saw the preloader and now the player uh, the video is in buffering stage so here again we can see the preloader so our listener is working properly now let's wait for the video to play again okay now let's test the back button so the video stopped and as you can see both navigation bar and notification bar both are invisible and this is the preloader because the video is in buffering mode and now we will press the back button the video stopped so what so what we try to implement is now implemented in this with uh, in this app